Hey guys, this is Jack from Wiki Jackson. It has definitely been a while. Today I'll be showing you how to get SSH access to your Linux-based computer from any other computer on your home network. This video will be a basic setup and installation video, though if you want to learn more about SSH or Linux in general, leave us a like or comment below and we'll follow up with other videos on the topic, hopefully. Now, there are a few things we need to do to our Linux machine before diving straight into the other computer. So let's get to the Linux machine first, and then we can go from there. In our example, we're running Ubuntu Server 14.04, running on an old HP desktop. So you know it's a pretty versatile tool. The first thing you need to know is your Linux computer's username and password. Then we are going to have to find our local IP address associated with this machine. The login process should be simple as you enter your username and password when prompted by your operating system. Once done, you should be at your root screen where we can type the command ifconfig space hyphen a to get a list of any and all network devices and interfaces on the computer you're using. All the commands used in this video will be listed below in the description. From this list, find your primary network device which can be identified by the one interface which has an inet address, bcast, mask, and inet6 address all labeled as shown. The inet address is our local IP address, the one which will be used to identify this computer from other PCs on our home network. So write this down. One more step is required on the part of the Linux machine, as we need to install an app called OpenSSH in order to allow other computers access to this one. Doing this over the command line may be daunting to first time users, but it's very simple and goes as follows. At the home screen, type sudo apt get install open ssh server. And if you're wondering, the term sudo just grants short term administrative privileges to you, so you don't have to run into any issues later on. And because of this, it will ask for your computer's password. Enter it and hit return and the install process should begin and end automatically. This next step may not be required, though you may want to check just in case. Again using a sudo command, we are going to modify one of the config files in the system, which you can use whatever text editor you want, though we will be using nano. Type sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash ssh forward slash sshd underscore config. The command nano after sudo allows for direct root access to a file and allows you to edit said file within terminal, which can be very useful. And hit return. And a text file should appear with some information and options regarding the open SSH install we just completed. Within the first couple of lines, there should be a port defined as some number, and we want to change this to 22, the default port used by PuTTY and other SSH applications. Do this by simply deleting the old number assuming it was not 22, and typing 22. Hit Control X to write out or save the file, hit return to confirm the file location, and you should return to your home screen. Now onto the fun part and easy part of PuTTY. I'm sure there are many different alternatives to PuTTY, but this seems to be the fastest and most ideal way for me. It has essentially no setup at all. I will supply a link to where it is very easy to get within the description. However, once you get it, open it up, and the very first screen you presented, the session category, is one we're going to work with. Notice the default settings. The port is at 22, the connection type is set to SSH, and close window on exit is fine to where it is set, unless you have another personal preference. Everything should be fine. All you have to do is remember the local IP address we found earlier with the ifconfig space hyphen a command, and you enter it straight into the host name section. Once you put it there, click the open button you're going to be presented with a terminal-like window. Type in your username, mine is just test. Then, PuTTY automatically enters the command for the computer you are going to connect to. Test at 192.168.1.24. And all you have to do is type in your password, and you should connect. All right guys, you now have SSH access to your Linux-based machine. Have fun. Now on an OS X based computer, the process is even simpler than on Windows, as the software needed is actually built into the operating system. In fact, from any Unix based operating system, the process will be nearly the same, if not identical, meaning this should work from another Ubuntu or Debian computer. 
Go ahead and open the terminal app found in forward slash user forward slash applications forward slash utilities forward slash terminal dot app or just spotlight search it and we can begin. Type the command ssh and then you're going to do a space and the username of the Ubuntu server computer at the IP address of the Ubuntu server computer. In our case, the username is test and the local IP address, which we found earlier under ifconfig space hyphen a, is 192.168.1.24. So, by typing in ssh space test at 192.168.1.24, we are asked for a password for that user on the other computer, which we can enter, hit return, and we should have ssh access, where we can perform any command line operation on the computer remotely from our Mac including updating the app packages, which hasn't been done in a while. All right guys, thank you for watching this video and uh, be sure to check out our last video, which we uploaded by clicking on the screen right here. And also just visit our channel to see more tech related videos and more reviews to come in the future. Actually, you can go ahead and click that subscribe button to be notified every time we upload a new video. And uh, well, that's it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one later. Hey.